Hello and welcome to a special episode of Death Arena. I am your host, Professor Knight. Tonight we have a three-on-three -three battle between the minions of Bowser and Dr. Eggman. For Bowser's minions, we have the Goomba, Koopa Troopa, and Piranha Plant. For Eggman's minions, we have the Molto Bug, Buzz Bomber, and Crab Meat. This battle will determine who had better original minions throughout the years. That being said, let's find out who will survive in the arena of death. Let's start things off with Bowser's minions. Now, as I pointed out, we're not using all of his minions, but three of the most iconic ones. When people think about Bowser's minions, the Goomba, Koopa, and Piranha Plant are the first ones that come to mind. First, let's start with the Goomba. Goombas resemble small, brown mushrooms and are a fungus-based species, and appear to be physically weak. The Goombas, as a collective race, used to be allied with the Mushroom Kingdom. However, many of the Goombas have turned traitorous and joined the Koopa Troop, an organization led by Bowser. In many games, Goombas are the first enemy the player meets. This mushroom's abilities vary from headbutting, the Goomba Shoe, which it uses to stomp opponents, Micro Goombas, which slow their foes down, Sprout Wings, gaining flight, and they are even able to grow to the size of a tower. Goombas are also capable of absorbing power-ups, and have minor telekinetic abilities that allow them to play baseball. Next is the troublesome turtle, the Koopa Troopa. They are turtle-like creatures who hide in their shells when someone stomps on them. Their shells are strong enough to break through brick blocks, they can manipulate water, and can sprout wings. Koopas are also extremely athletic and skilled in numerous sports, and driving. However, most of them are cowards. And finally, we have Mushroom Kingdom's most dangerous plant, the Piranha Plant. It is a Venus flytrap-like enemy, almost always portrayed as a leafy green stalk topped with a white spotted red head, bisected by a white lip mouth with sharp teeth. Instead of eating flies, he eats Mario and Luigi. These plants are also able to grow spikes on their heads, and spit fire and toxic gas. Overall, the Koop Troop is an extraordinary team. They are most powerful working together, and have several unique abilities. From one evil group to another, let's discuss Dr. Eggman's minions, the Badniks. Each of these robots were Sonic the Hedgehog's first metallic false. They were all designed by Eggman to be helpful in his plans to take over the world. The first robot you'll encounter is likely to be the Motel Bug. Moto bugs are usually slow-paced robots that move around, which makes them very basic enemies. The Moto bug is known for being the first badnik that Sonic encountered and thus being the first enemy encountered in the entire Sonic series. These robots are armed with metal pinchers, and have been upgraded to the point that they can keep up with Sonic, meaning they can move at the speed of sound. However, these robots aren't very durable. Moving on, we have the Buzz Bomber. This robot is a mass-produced, B-based badnik model created by Dr. Eggman. Buzz Bombers have several upgraded models based on them. Since the Buzz Bombers' first appearance, they have become one of the most common enemies in the Sonic series. With the aid of their wings and rockets, the Buzz Bombers are capable of flight. They are also equipped with stingers that can fire a rail detonator blast, which appears as a concentrated orb of laser energy, at their target. And finally, we have the most crustaceous member of the Badniks, the Crab Meat. This robot is a mass-produced, crab-based Badnik model created by Dr. Eggman. Crab Meats are slow-paced Badniks that are capable of shooting projectile balls or homing missiles from their pincers. One downside to these robots is that they are very slow. Overall, the Badniks are a band of robots built to obey. They are mostly great with speed and ranged attacks. But, they heavily rely on their programming.
well there you have it. Truth be told, everyone should have seen this coming. The Koopa Troop had pretty much every edge against the Badniks, except for speed. But this isn't even that big of an advantage. The Goomba and Koopa have plenty of ways to keep up with the Motabug and Buzz Bomber. Plus, the Koop Troop just had a much too overwhelming arsenal for the Badniks to handle. Sure, the Badniks could win in specific circumstances, but they lose about 85% of the time. The Koop Troop just had too much strength, tactics, and abilities for the Badniks to handle. Making the winners of this battle, the Koop Troop. I am a Koopa, and I will teach you the meaning of pain. Mudo. <laughs>